Okay, <clears throat> thank you, Dan. So our next talk today is going to be <clears throat> Camille from Warrant Systems talking about LDB. So I will turn it over to Camille. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is Kamil Artarowski. I represent uh, Modern Systems. Uh, we work on uh, LDB project uh, for FreeBSD Foundation. Uh, we are a software house funded in 2020 by developers with uh, 10 or more years of professional experience on the IT market. We are especially um, uh, familiar with uh, BSD uh, systems and also with uh, Linux. Uh, we started out as uh, IT enthusiast uh, who believe that open source free software movement uh, technology is the future of IT. We gained unique experience uh, with supporting variety of open source projects. We contributed to them. Uh, and now we funded uh, more systems to share this experience with our customers. Uh, we, uh, uh, we work for the FreeBSD uh, Foundation uh, on LDB related, related contracts. But the first contract uh, was started and finished in 2020. It was for three months. Uh, it had uh, the primary focus on uh, LDB debug improvements for uh, FreeBSD. It was about making the FreeBSD code more modern, um, catch up with uh, Linux and uh, NetBSD at that point in terms of uh, code base. Uh, the second uh, contract started uh, in the beginning of this year. Uh, LLB, FreeBSD, CPU target support and user run debugging improvements. Uh, it was uh, divided into four months for milestones. Uh, it was also successfully accomplished. Uh, in that contract, we uh, made sure that all the uh, FreeBSD LDB features are uh, properly supported in non x86 uh, platform. And then we move on, moved on to uh, generic uh, improvements uh, in LDB with a primary focus on uh, FreeBSD. And uh, the current ongoing uh, cont uh, contract and project uh, focus on uh, KGDB support in LDB. It's uh, an umbrella project for uh, kernel related uh, projects for facing debugging kernel core files, uh, interoperability with uh, GDB, uh, tracing uh, live uh, FreeBSD kernels. Uh, that's still ongoing. Finished uh, three out of six milestones. We plan to deliver it uh, by the January of 2022. Uh, our work organization in the in our contracts for the FreeBSD Foundation, this uh, looks as follows. Uh, whenever possible, we try to reuse prior work developed by us because we were involved in a similar uh, contract for the NetBSD uh, Foundation, NetBSD project. We made, uh, we uh, wrote a modern LDB support for, for, for that operating system. We used that work for uh, FreeBSD. We split our uh, projects into appropriate milestones, each taking approximately one month to complete. A milestone uh, in our work is considered complete after being reviewed and upstreamed uh, to uh, whenever applicable to the FreeBSD project or uh, LVM and LTP project. That means that uh, we rarely, rarely on uh the community of open source developers with uh, timing but we are making a good job with um, meeting uh, the goals in approximately one month and there are two developers involved uh, in the contracts 
Kamir Trowski, so myself and Michał Górny. Um, our primary focus in our world is uh, the AMD64 platform, also known as uh, x86 64 bit, and uh, currently ARM64. Um, before the previous two contracts, uh, we also put a focus uh, on Intel 32 bit because it was a tier one um, uh, CPU uh, in the FreeBSD project, but it's uh, no longer the primary focus uh, for the FreeBSD foundation, but we still use it as a reference 32 bit uh, platform because it's very easy to test, to set up. Uh, we can just use uh, regular uh, Intel or AMD hardware and uh, quickly spawn the appropriate uh, environment. Each milestone is documented on publicly available blog post. Everything is reachable at our website, www.molitsystems.blog. You can check our uh, progress our, of our contracts. Uh, the primary goals, as we see it, uh, of the LDB contract uh, for FreeBSDs, uh, contracts for uh, FreeBSD, is to produce a full drop-in replacement uh, for the GNU Utils GDB debugging stack. Uh, it's software from the Free Software Foundation re released uh, as a GPL version free code. Uh, LVM and LEDB is distributed on a permissive and reusable license. Currently it's uh, Apache 2.0. Uh, so that's uh, more, much more compatible uh, with the spirit of uh, BSD and FreeBSD. Uh, we had for reasonable GDB compatibility, feature parity and interoperability. Uh, so this means, means that uh, we want to make uh, the new solution, the new debugger easily usable for uh, prior GDB users and us people using uh, directly GDB or software using uh, GDB protocols or technology. Uh, so we can uh, easily uh, drop in LDB as a replacement. Uh, we want to have LDB uh, reasonable um, compatible uh, in with uh, features. Uh, so people don't need to go back to GDB for some some debug user sessions or some compatibilities with some software. And interoperability means that uh, we want to uh, reuse as is uh, as much as possible uh, existing software. For example, uh, we want to be able to connect uh, LDB to virtual machines or GDB servers that could be built in on in embedded uh, boards or simulators. Um, then we want to uh, remove dependencies uh, in the FreeBSD project from legacy you know, debugger versions. Uh, the GDB version 6.1.1 uh, that was very old uh, from 2004 was removed just last year after our first contract. Uh, the final removal was performed by Edmast. Uh, we have to keep the FreeBSD LDB code uh, modern and remove uh, any dependencies on uh, leg legacy uh, code stack. So, so uh, new features that are developed uh, inside the LDB uh, project are easily out of the box or with little effort reusable on FreeBSD. Bug fixes are uh, reusable on FreeBSD uh, and new features are and, um, New features are no longer written just for FreeBSD by the other developers. So that was important to 
share model called uh, code base from LDB. We also ensure that there's first class support for FreeBSD in the uh, LDB project. Uh, the first contract, uh, LDB debugging improvements for FreeBSD, was uh, split into three milestones. Uh, the first milestone formulated as introduce new FreeBSD remote process plugin for x86-64 with basic support and upstream to PVM was fully accomplished. It means that uh, we reused uh, the prior NetBSD work by our team. We made it, uh, we ported it to FreeBSD, made it be, made it work. It was tested and upstreamed. Uh, it was restricted in features, uh, but it was, it was operational for basic debugging sessions. Then for the second month, uh, we iterated over the most fundamental features uh, for, uh, for debuggers, especially uh, uh, in LDB plugins uh, for, for uh, operating systems. Uh, we made sure that uh, there's operational process launch, process attach, by process ID, by process name uh, that we can open and exam examine um, the core files of uh, user run programs. We can um, manage uh, software breakpoints, hardware assisted watch points. Uh, we can trace multi threaded applications and everything works in the client server uh, mode. And this enables support for remote debugging. So we can place a server, a DB server on one computer, one environment and connect to it, uh, usually over the network stack uh, from um, other computer or other environment. Uh, in that contract, we put a focus, the exclusive focus on um, AD64 uh, platform and Intel uh, X86 32 bit. Uh, we dedicated one month uh, for iterating over the existing um, LDDB tests. Uh, we fixed as many uh, issues as possible. We also found out that um, the number of passing tests is it's already close to the Linux operating system. And we also ensured that uh, the documentation is uh, up to date uh, of our work after a uh, completion of our uh, contract. Uh, then uh, next year, uh, this year, beginning of this year, we started a four month, four milestone uh, contract. Uh, it was formulated as uh, LDB FreeBSD CPU target support and uh, user and debugging improvements. Uh, the project, uh, has, project uh, has been divided into four milestones. Uh, in the first milestone out of four, uh, we switched all the non-Intel CPUs uh, in LDB support for FreeBSD to the new remote process plugin, so to the new uh, code, uh, code base um, code stack. Um, and then for the second month, uh, we, we, we made uh, uh, a lot of tests uh, of, of, the, of the new uh, uh, platform code uh, on ARM 64 bit uh, FreeBSD. We, uh, we collaborated with the FreeBSD team, and uh, there was introduction of uh, support of, uh, of the hardware assisted watch points. Um, uh, we marked uh, non-trivial issues or bugs uh, for future work. Uh, we managed to test uh, for the first and second uh, milestone, we managed to test uh, all the 
supported CPUs by FreeBSD RDB legacy code uh, in at least um, virtual machine or on the real hardware, in some cases in both. Um, so that was not just uh, build tested, but uh, with best effort, uh, we checked whether it really works, but, but we were not running tests uh, on platforms such as MIPS or PowerPC or ARM 32 bit. Um, uh, we were just happy that uh, we're just contented that uh, our work is uh, uh, that we can add up to clutches to spawn a, a simple debugging session and uh, observe that uh, the basic functionality is in order. Uh, then we moved on to uh, generic features and the improvements uh, inside uh, the LDB debugger. We started with uh, the follow fork and follow fee fork operations. And they are already available in GNU GDB. And we used GDB as a reference platform, you reference implementation. Uh, from one hand, it's a feature adding new functionality to trace either child or parent whenever there's a process of spanning new, new process, new debugged traced process. However, on the other hand, it's also kind of bug fix because uh, in the past, uh, spanning new processes was invisible to LDB. So we could uh, tight code uh, of the process with software breakpoints and we lost control over new spawn process. And uh, whenever uh, spawn process executes software breakpoints, it could explode. So, so that, that was also um, kind of a bug fix. Uh, that, that functionality was covered by uh, regression tests. Uh, then uh, we um, collaborated with the FreeBSD uh, developers and uh, input, uh, added a new uh, P-trace operation to, uh, to create a core file of a running process, a kernel, a Unix kernel, such as uh, FreeBSD kernel, uh, knows how to create a core file so we uh, just uh, ask the kernel through a pre operation to do the work for us uh, in Linux and in GDB Linux. Creating core files is uh, done manually. It means that um, uh, debugger uh, reads uh, all the segments, uh, process context, uh, threads context, uh, etc., and creates manually elf core file. Uh, it's much easier with uh, just a single test operation. We also uh, added support for NetBSD for, because NetBSD already contains a similar trace call. We ensured that the documentation is up to date. Uh, for the tiered contract, uh, that's still ongoing. Uh, FreeBSD KGDB support in LDB. Uh, we divided the pro uh, project uh, into six milestones. The three of them are already accomplished. Uh, the first two milestones uh, focus on uh, GDB protocol interoperability. Um, this means that we can attach, uh, today we can attach LDB to uh, existing GDB server and we can communicate with success. This also was tested, uh, especially with QMU uh, emulator. Uh, so we can uh, attach uh, LDB to QMU and trace a kernel code or um, put loader code or so, so, some other type of code. In the past, we were uh, required to use 
GDB for interoperating uh, with uh, other GDB servers. So uh, currently LDB is uh, a drop in, full drop in replacement uh, for many cases. Uh, and then we uh, added support for uh, debugging over serial port. So serial port is a kind of simplified version of interacting between machines. Uh, it could be considered as an alternative to TCP IP stack. It's very simple. It's useful for uh, interacting with um, embedded machines, with virtual machines, with kernels, whenever the setup is restricted in features, hardware power, etc. Uh, GDB support the uh, banking of a serial port, and we made sure that uh, LDF also has this possibility. Then there are two, uh, there are uh, three uh, ongoing uh, milestones. Um, we are still uh, working on milestone four. Uh, it's formatted as libkvm portable and uh, support for debugging kernel core files in LDB. Uh, we, in, in this con contract, we put focus, the primary focus on AMD64 AMD and ARM64 platform. Uh, so we want to be able to open uh, core files of kernel, of FreeBSD kernel, uh, kernels uh, inside LDB. And for this, we create a portable version of libkvm that's uh, portable across cpu and cross operating system so we can uh, pick another operating system uh, for example linux x86 and open the freebsd core file from arm64 for example and that's our, our goal of this uh, milestone uh, for, for the second for the Next, uh, milestone, uh, milestone number five, uh, we want to get support for tracing uh, live uh, kernel, ker FreeBSD kernels. And that's, uh, that we plan to start this right after milestone four. Then uh, we allocate one extra more for uh, extra, extra uh, process of uh, processing our patches. We need to meet the the um, uh, mm, we need to uh, meet the ex expectations of uh, FreeBSD developers and um, LDB developers, and, uh, and then we want to make uh, our our portable lib libkvm reusable also for purpose of integration into uh, GDB. And as type permit, we can uh, work on some extra tasks. Um, the future FreeBSD LDB ideas uh, are as follows. We can keep adding uh, new uh, features in LDB uh, for FreeBSD on other CPUs, for example, for risk file as possible after this contract. Uh, we can continue uh, improvement of the GDB compatibility. We can add new generic features. For example, some people request uh, new features in GDB, such as tracing um, thread rename operations. That, that's not, as of today, not supported in GDB. That could be supported in LDB. Uh, we could add some special add-ons uh, just for FreeBSD, such as uh, coloring of uh, FreeBSD structures uh, as an extern extension. Uh, we could uh, contribute to maintenance of the FreeBSD build bot in the LVM project, LDB project. We also could uh, modernize no GDP code for FreeBSD, for example, uh, add 
GDB server for FreeBSD. Um, you can check our progress and services uh, on our on our website www.moid-systems. You can also check our code uh, on GitHub. And uh, thank you. So we can open it up for questions if folks, I'm going to go check on uh, IRC and so forth, because uh, I don't see any questions yet on Zoom. So let me go check for that for a minute. So I haven't seen any questions yet. Um, and I will say, by the way, I'm excited for the the KVM portable work. I know I've been uh, chatting with Camille uh, as well about that, um, and other you know the folks at Moritz about that design. So that'll be neat to have to support cross debugging and all, not just FreeBSD hosts, but on arbitrary. So I'm excited to see that work. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, we are still uh, finding the the final shape of this library. Yeah, uh, we need to meet expectations. So both of the LDP developers of previous D and make it as useful as possible. Yeah, I think we'll get there. So really appreciate the work. Yeah, thank you. So I don't see any questions um, for now. So why don't we go ahead and take our first break? Uh, we're actually kind of right on, oh, I see a question. Um, does LDB remote use a monitor command like GDB? Uh, like the, where you can send arbitrary text commands to the stub at the other end. Um, monitor command? Yeah, I think it's like a packet in the protocol where you can, there's a way to send like arbitrary text from the debugger to the stub at the other end, like the server. I suspect uh, LDB does it. Uh, whether we can uh, preview the protocol messages yes that's the question As, well it's a, a question about a specific message there's a command in gdb called monitor i don't have to look um i don't oh, know oh, what packet would, it corresponds to i would, I would not I would, I would need to double check but in general ldb uh, aims to support all reasonable and still used gdb packets okay if, if that's not supported today, and it's still supported in uh, GDB or other programs, uh, you want to get it in place. Yeah, it, it's still, I have a FPGA I've been debugging recently where you use the monitor command to talk to like the little stub that's monitoring the FPGA to reset like a software running on it. So I know it's still used and I, I would strongly suspect LDB supports it. You just might to look up what command in LDB maps to the same thing. Mm -hmm. I see that that's uh, it's possible that it's supported. Some uh, FPGAs are supported uh, by LDB, are tested, are compatible with them. Uh, so it could, could be nice. If not, uh, we can add it. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> well, I think let's go ahead and take our first break for about uh, 10 minutes or so, and we'll be back then. One thing I forgot to mention, and thank you, Camille. Sorry, I should start with that. Thank you, Camille, for your talk again. Um, if folks have more questions that we didn't get to answer now, um, feel free to ask over on IRC or Slack, and you can chat over there. We do have our first break coming up. One thing I forgot to mention at the start of the day today is um, just as we did in June for the developer summit, we are having a separate um, hallway track Zoom call, like a, just a regular open Zoom meeting. There was a link to that sent out this morning. I think we might have also posted some details on how to join that in IRC. So during the breaks, you're welcome to hang out over on the hallway track. I'm going to be over there um, just to 
chat about whatever you want to, and we'll see you back in about a few minutes.